So here we are out of five to go now. And on this stage, the plates are all at five feet high, but as they get deeper, as they go further back, as you're advancing one, two, three, four, left to right, uh, the plates go back further, maybe three yards at a time, something like that. And it's an optical illusion that it's a little lower. Plus you gotta keep in mind that the bullet's rising. So the where it impacts on the first plate, if you're aiming at the dead center, you'll hit dead center. But if you're aiming at dead center on the back plate there, the fourth plate, you're gonna hit probably an inch higher because the bullet's still rising. You need to keep that in mind. Fortunately, if you're aiming dead center, you're gonna hit it anyway because there's enough plate there, assuming you're on target. Again, horizontal movement of the rifle barrel. That's what we're looking for. The muzzle really, but the, we'll call it the barrel for, for uh, argument's sake. And all we want to do is come straight across these plates. Just like that. Bing, 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 bing. So keep an eye on the muzzle as we, uh, as we do this. shooting this thing ice cold so let's see how we do i'll shoot it the way i usually do first i'll go through a couple of times and i'll move the camera out in front of us and we'll look at it again from that angle and then we'll switch to focusing on keeping the rifle level all right here we go so bing 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 all right again first time through i missed the second plate third second second time through i missed the fourth plate let's do it again Those are actually pretty good runs. One more magazine, two more times through like that. That feels pretty level. I'm not even thinking about that yet. This buzzer involved. Uh, let's go to the timer now. Two twenty five. Last mag. Two twenty-five again. <laughs> that felt like a really good one, though. Okay, so that's what it looked like the way I normally shoot this. Two twenty-five to two fifty is my norm anyway on this stage. Two twenty-five, two thirty-five is fairly common. If you have a miss and you got to make it up, two fifty, sixty, seventy. Who knows? Five for five, I'm going to go 225s or less even sometime. Um, so let's go ahead and reload. And now we'll come back and I'll put the barrel out in front of us with the camera facing us. And we'll see if that barrel's, uh, if my muzzle is moving at all as we go through the targets. All right, so again, watch my muzzle. Make sure it's going straight across. We don't want any motions like this. You don't want any, uh, 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 you know, jerking the gun. No jerking. 
and there's no reason to be moving it up or down straight across let's see how it goes now, this time we're going to do it the way i typically shoot which is just go for it bang 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 as fast as i can like i would do in a match let's see what it looks like keep an eye on the muzzle level Nineteen. That's a good time for me. pick them all up to 183 but I doubt it Fifty-five at the makeup shot. See how much time a makeup shot will take? Point three or more. I had an ammo, but that was a good run. All right, I'm going to go ahead and reload and uh, come back out. And this time, we'll focus on moving straight across. Times are going to be slower probably because I'm focusing on a new technique and not the actual shooting. What you just saw was me just standing in the box and let it rip. I wasn't thinking of anything. Just go dot on target is all I was thinking about. Focus on the dot. Let's try it now with focusing on keeping that rifle level. I don't know why it's always windy on video day, but it is. It's never windy out here except on video day. It's amazing. Anyway, this time I'm going to go ahead and focus on, uh, focus on shooting horizontally, perfectly level straight across. Let's see if I can do that or not. First couple without the timer. But if you notice, I don't think that rifle moved up and down at all. slow but that was the point to prove all the targets are at the same height my feet were in the wrong position so I came up short twice on the stop plate so I'll adjust this way some let's try that again I want to make sure when I come all the way across that I have enough and when I get my body into my normal position, it's on target. Get rid of any sweat going in your face. Now let's put the timer on this. It's going to be hard to beat those other times, but... Fifty-four, going slow as the dickens. Five for five, though. I'm definitely on to something here, but we'll have to see as time goes on if I can actually build this concept into my shooting, making me a better shooter. Hopefully, this video helps a little bit, and especially for new shooters, because get used to doing this right now. Don't wait, in the, you know, for shooters, more experienced shooters that have been doing it a certain way for a while. It's going to take them a bit to break this habit 
of uh, moving the gun up and down if that's in fact happening. Um, but for newer shooters, just get it in your mind right now that you don't move that gun up and down except on pendulum. Uh, and then when you're doing, uh, even on the outer limits, when you're running from box to box, the targets are the same height. You should really keep that rifle, you know, level, as level as you can while you're running anyway. All right, Two Gun Terry. We'll see you out at the range. Take care now. Well, that's all I have for now. Thank you for stopping by. And remember to like, subscribe, and do what? Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bankrupt. Two guys!